So today we're taking a look at the rumors of the upcoming GTX 1180, 1170, and 1160 graphics cards, and hopefully a month from now, instead of talking about rumors, we're actually going to be talking about real world cards, or at least a real world card with the GTX 1180. But for now, let's take a look at the rumor mill and just where we stand with what's probably coming about a month from now. Now, in case you didn't catch it in the intro, roughly a month from now, at the end of August, we're expecting to see the launch of the GTX 1180 from NVIDIA. However, from uh, digitimes.com, it looks like the 1180 is going to be launched by itself at the end of August, with the 1170 then following at the end of September, and the 1160 coming at the end of October. Now, the rumor that's been hanging around for a while is that NVIDIA is uh, sort of stuck with a lot of extra GPUs that they produced at the high of the mining craze and now that uh, cryptocurrency mining using graphics cards has sort of fallen off people just aren't buying as many cards and Nvidia isn't willing at least it looks like isn't willing to drop prices down to the point where they can unload those cards quickly on the other hand consumers are aware that the GTX 11 series is coming the 1180s 1170s 1160s and then on down probably after that to your 1150s and so on consumers are aware that those are around the corner and are unwilling to buy cards that have now been on the market for two plus years in some cases. So again, I'm referencing that DigiTimes article and I'll link that down below. But uh, the, the article mentions that uh, industry sources are saying that not only will it be a staggered launch at the end of August, September, October, but also the flagship 1180 is looking to come in at a higher price point than the current flagship, the GTX 1080 Ti. Again, with the goal from NVIDIA's perspective of moving a lot of those GPUs that they've been stuck with for a while. Now, the idea here from NVIDIA is that by pricing the 1180 above the 10 series, Series cards, including the 1080 Ti, is that consumers will then start buying those 10 series cards because hopefully, fingers crossed on this, we'll actually see a little bit of a price reduction once the 11 series is actually out and launched. And that'll actually entice consumers to then buy up the remaining 10 series cards before, again, fingers crossed on this one as well. Hopefully, those 11 series cards slot in close to uh, the 10 series cards in their respective brackets. So hopefully after the 10 series cards are gone and bought up by consumers, the 1160, for example, costs roughly what the 1060 did. Now, judging from the pricing rumors, it looks like Nvidia is trying to sort of bump up prices across the lineup. And, you know, from a business perspective, it's hard to sort of blame them because as a business, their job is to make money. And right now, there's just no competition from AMD, at least at the high end of things. NVIDIA can do whatever it wants from a pricing perspective, because if you're an enthusiast that has to have the best because you just want it, NVIDIA is your only option. And uh, they're probably going to drive that point home with the pricing. At least that's what it looks like. So fortunately, that's about the end of the bad news with pricing being a little bit higher. Uh, we do get new graphics cards. That's a good thing. Also, Again, those miners are bailing and they have been for a bit now. So the used markets are down across the board. You can actually find some really solid deals. Um, I just picked up a, a GTX 1060 three gigabyte version for right at $171. So there are some pretty good deals out there. Um, I'll take a look at that card when it actually gets here and see if it was actually worth the money, uh, whether it's in good condition, whether it looks like it's been beat up by potentially mining or anything else. But there are definitely some uh, used avenues that you can go if you're unwilling to pay the pricing of the 11 series cards. But I am curious from you guys, are you waiting for the 11 series to buy up one of those cards? If you are, let me know which SKU you're looking at, 1160, 1170, 1180. Or, depending on pricing, will you fall back on the GTX 10 series? Or, third option, will you fall back on the used market? Let me know down below. And of course, guys, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, give this video a like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things down below help out. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.